Hello my friends, welcome to the channel, it's Simon the Watch Guy. Today I'm going to try to do this video quick. I've recorded this a few times, it keeps going over 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to do this as best I can, as quick as I can. So I've got two stories to tell you guys. Uh, the first story is that, number one, there was a power cut the other day and it really got me thinking, really got me thinking. An automatic watch, a solar watch, they would be ideal. The power was out for quite a few hours and it just, something in my brain said, imagine just, I know it's unlikely, I know it's super unlikely, but imagine if your quartz watch, your battery died in that time. Solar powered and, or an automatic, that would be, I think, the way to go personally, if you're a watch addict. If you're not a watch addict, this probably doesn't apply to you. Okay, so then soon after that, about two days later, I went to a theme park. And there was a guy who was really babying a watch. And I couldn't see what this watch was. He he just didn't want to get it wet. He was scared to bang it. And he was kind of like this. He was kind of... I couldn't see the watch because he was babying the watch so much. Anyway, upon closer inspection, I managed to get a look at this watch. And it seemed to be the Rolex Batman. The blue and black uh, bezel. And it looked gorgeous, it, it was reflecting nicely in the light. But it made me think that, God, yeah, if I had that watch, I would probably do the same as him. And he was just, he wasn't, he didn't seem to be having that much fun in the theme park because he was scared about the watch. And I looked at two of the other happiest people I saw in, in the entire theme park. And one of them, the, the, the girl... This, there was this lady and she had, I'm going to find the model as I'm talking, she had the gold F91 variant. Uh, I'm going to get the model number for you guys. It is the A168WG-9WDF. It's the gold F91 with the stainless steel. It says Illuminator on the front. She was having so much fun. It was ridiculous. And then there was a guy who had what's known as the Casio Royale, otherwise known as the AE-1200WH. And seriously, I've never seen anybody... He, this guy was about 40, but he was having more fun than some of the 10-year-olds at the theme park. He, <laughs> he had the blacked-out version, which was actually, if I give you the blacked-out version, I think it was the AE-1200WH-1AV... CF. And this guy, it was getting soaked, wet, it was getting banged. He just didn't care. And it really resonated with me, both of these experiences. And it made me think that, okay, what I'm going to do, I, I figured it out. I really have figured it out. I'm going to sell my Bulliver. I'm going to sell my Apple Watch. I'm going to sell my MTG Casios, which I know is... I know it's crazy, but as much as I love these watches, I can't get over the date format. I just cannot get over the date format. So what I'm going to do, because it's month, month, day, day, like American format, I'm going to do a rebuy. This is the third rebuy. I'm going to buy the GW-B5600, which is the blue variant let me just check I've got that correct. Yes, that is correct. GW-B5600-2ER. I've had this twice already. I'm going to rebuy a third time. I'm going to mod it for you guys on video. And that's going to be my one watch collection. It's a watch that it's got multiband 6. It's got solar power. It's got a user replaceable battery. You can, if that battery dies in 10, 20 years, you can replace it yourself. That's hugely important for me. You can replace the case, the resin, if that ever suffers, you know, the dreaded resin rot in about 20 years or more. And it's just a super reliable watch. You've got that Bluetooth connection. Go to any country on earth, sync it up with your phone. You've got the correct time. And most of all, it's affordable as well. It's it's not a what it's a G-Shock. I'm not going to be afraid to bang it. You've got the UK date format. For me personally, I actually think once it's modded, it doesn't have the negative display. Once I mod it again, 
it's going to be my personal one watch collection. I really regret selling that watch. If you actually go back several, well, more than several videos ago, you will see. I think I did a review. Did I do a, re a review on the B5600? I think I did. I'm not sure if I modded it before the review. Either way, check it out. I'm going to get it again. I'm going to review it again. And then I will also mod the watch. I will do that on video so you guys can see how I modded it last time. I will try my best not to break it. That will be bad. And yeah, that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be my one watch collection. So, hope this all makes sense. I guess you can probably see on this watch journey why I'm venturing down this 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 path again. But yeah, thanks for thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned. There is two more video blogs coming. As I say, there's the uh, the one. I'm going to review this watch again, and then number two, where I'm going to mod the watch. So stay tuned. There is two more videos coming, but once I've got that one watch collection, that that is it. I've kind of realised that hey, there probably isn't more to life than watches. Having this watch channel has made me into an even worse watch addict. But now I've had time away from the channel, time to think. I, I think this makes the most sense for me. So let me know your thoughts and questions, comments, anything else in the comment section below the video. And uh, I will speak to you all soon. And just be on the lookout. Uh, make sure you've got that bell notification turned on so you get the, the notifications when this watch arrives, which should hopefully be maybe this week or next week. Um, I will do a review and I will also bring you the modding video to mod it from negative into a positive display. OK, until then, guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next few weeks.